Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Avatar The Last Airbender book 3 episode number 1 and 2. Alright, the previous episode, it was the end of book 2 and um, things ended in a very concerning state. Uh, Azula almost defeated Aang. Uh, we were just able to get out of that by, the, by a hair's breadth and you know like Iroh helped us to get away from the whole situation Aang almost died because of Azula actually uh, using the lightning to hit him when he was in his avatar state and um, Zuko is helping Azula now so obviously I am quite sure that you know the, he'll probably like you know like I realize that what he wants is not this because Azula again with the same thing like you know the same way she actually tried to persuade him before she did the same thing again she said that dad will forgive you you'll get your honor back help me and that's how now I'm not sure whether this is completely true or not the, the previous time that she did this it was a trap to actually get him but this time, I don't know, I, I feel as if it's kind of true, I don't know. But let's see, um, I doubt Ozai will forgive him that easily. So let's see what actually happens after this. Now Iroh is captured as well in a way, I'm not sure what's going to happen to Iroh. Hopefully nothing bad's happened and if something, they like, you know, if they try to like execute him or something, hopefully Zuko saves him and gets out of that place because you know that'll probably be a wake-up call for for him but yeah i'm not sure what how this this whole thing is going to go and ang there's this also this whole thing with ang learning the avatar state from guru patik but he had to like you know like give away all his earthly bindings which one of the biggest ones which uh, out of which one of the biggest ones was katara which he was unable to do but in the end he tried to like do that but got interrupted by Azula as we saw you know like she shot her him so I guess it was not successful that means so yeah like all these things happen they are all like you know they're out of the earth kingdom the king is also with us Bosco is with us and also uh, you know all the other like you know the Ang, Ang, Ang's uh, crew members everyone is there so that's one like you know good thing like thankfully no one got captured or anything but yeah i'm still concerned about zuko and iroh so let's see what this uh, season brings this is the final season and i think this time he'll probably learn firebending you know like the first one was like the first book one was water earth fire i think this one yeah so let's see like you know how ang masters firebending because firebending is the most difficult as we got to know from one of the previous episodes you know uh so yeah so without further ado let's get started this is episode number one of A after the last airbender book three so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, boy. What? No. I doubt that. I don't think he will, like... Azula is making it seem as if it will be so easy, like they'll go in and 
the awakening. Wait, what? It took me a little while. Aang has hair now? Wait, how much time that where that he got hair now? Oh, is this a dream? What the hell is happening? Um Wait, is this real? I thought this was a dream. Didn't they get out of that? What the? What's happening? What? What's happening? Oh, this is a disguise, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we need context. What happened in this time? The time that it needed for Ang to grow up his hair. Wait, so Osai really did restore his honor? Um, what? Oh my god, this girl. What the hell? She's like... <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> you did not realize <laughs> few weeks damn okay what's happening why is she so did something happen like Oh my god, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh god, this. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, he died. <laughs> wow. What the? Oh, so she's like a hero now. Okay, so there he really did like restore Zuko's honor. Oh. Uh. Damn. Uh. Oh, that lady in the... Oh, no. 
Wait, where's the king? He was with us, wasn't he? Damn. Yeah, three long years of exile. He is not happy at all. Okay. He set off alone? Okay, I guess. Oh, nice. Okay, good. Yeah. Why is she so cranky with her dad? Yeah, Saka looks good. Oh. What? Oh, everyone thinks he's dead. Yeah, good. Yes, and he has hair now. No one will be able to, but uh, I guess they'll see his arrows. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, that is n no. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. What? Oh, whoa, what? Damn. Damn. Oh no. And yeah. Oh yeah. We for <laughs> I also forgot about that. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> yeah. Hi there. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Ah, um, we lo got lost. Oh. Admiral Chan. Yeah, Admiral Chan. Okay. Oh! Oh no, not Admiral Chan! <laughs> oh no! Oh god. Yes, she can hear it. Quick! There you go, metal bending! Ooh! <laughs> Say hi to Admiral Chan. <laughs> oh boy. Night. Damn, Katara got really strong. Oh boy, they'll, they'll inform everyone. That's, that's kind of. What? Oh, the Zuko. I thought, who is this? I love these ducks with turtle. Yeah. Oh, really? He did not. Maybe. Oh, yeah, he knows about it. Okay. Oh, Azula suspecting something. 
<sighs> okay. Oh. Oh no, Trebuchet. Wow, they're following them. What? Ooh, nice. There goes the... Oh! Alright. Yeah. Ang's frustrated that he cannot do anything. Oh no. Oh no, the water. Can can't top metal bend and stop it or something? Or Katara can also do it, I guess. Nice. Wow. Yeah, this is Katara's home field. It's in, in the middle of the ocean. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. Hmm. Oh! God damn, they're persistent. Ah. Wow, what is this? <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. Oh, it's going to <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> yes. Thanks. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Ang. <laughs> he's, he's. Yeah, but. Hmm. Nah. <sighs> Come on, Ang, not again. Th this happened before as well. He he Oh god. <sighs> Please, no more honor! <laughs> like, Zuko got his honor back and look, oh god, look what brought him. Nothing, just emptiness. Okay, I wonder what happened to Ozai, like... Oh wait, he's there. Does he like sit, sit there all along? <laughs> like he's like every day, like he gets up from sleep, goes there and just sits. Oh no. Wait, oh no, what's he doing? Oh boy. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I was not expecting that. I thought he would be like... Wait, this is Ozai? Okay. I thought he would be like some kind of like, uh, you know, like gruffy old man or something with some big beard or something. <laughs> he, he, he looks quite normal.
Ya. Yeah. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, that's why she was kind of okay. <sighs> oh well he's happy about it that's nice i guess oh 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 no which is okay Oh, that's, I guess that's nice of her, you know, she did not lie this time, I guess. Whoa, wh where is this? Oh. What also? Oh, nice. Where is he going, by the way? Like, oh, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also wondering, like Is this like another one of her plan or something? Oh no, so he did not get his honor back. Yeah, he, she's just trying to use you. Well? Oh no! <laughs> ah! Wow, this girl is vicious! <laughs> My god, the plan! <laughs> like... Damn, like, my god, so basically she's just putting everything on Zuko, taking a little bit of the credit, and if something bad happens, if Avatar is somehow alive, she'll be like, you know what, I don't know anything, Zuko did it, so, yeah. Oh my god, this girl. <laughs> oh, Rook. That's... Oh, that's what is actually bothering him. Oh, okay, okay. I was like... Hmm. What? Oh, wait. 
You. Oh yeah, she she's the moon. I forgot about it. Oh. Oh yeah, moon can like, you know, like the tide and everything. Oh, okay, okay. You know, like the moon is related to the tide, fall and the rise of tide, you know. So I guess that's how she helped him. Whoa, what is this? Oh, it's so beautiful. Ah, <laughs> Momo, wait, he was following him? Oh, Momo led them to. Hmm, Appa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, it broke. Yeah, okay, true. Hmm. Throw it in the lava. <clears throat> oh, he, oh, nice. Oh, it, it, okay. Wow. Okay, that was good. That's the end. That was a great start. I love it. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> so this episode kind of started in a very, um, sh not shocking, but in a very unusual way. Like we suddenly see Aang with hair. Like at the beginning, I, I was really like, <laughs> It took me a little bit time to register. I was like, wait a minute, this is Ang and what is that on top of his head? And then I realized, oh, that's hair. <laughs> okay, but yeah, okay, so now quite a few time, like amount of time has gone and a lot of things have changed. Obviously, the Earth Kingdom is down, you know, it has been conquered. Uh, Aang has been out for three weeks, I think they said, yeah, and Katara has been, I'm guessing, continuously healing him uh, all this time. And we are on a Fire Nation ship with disguises. So that's what's happening. And in the Fire Nation, also a few things have happened. That is, uh, Zuko is back. Now, here's the thing. I, <laughs> like, I thought that... <coughs> Azula is again probably lying to Zuko, you know, by saying that, oh, dad will forgive you. And like similarly, like the, the previous time, they're going to bring him back and probably Ozai would say something like, no, you are not forgiven. Like, get out or something he'll probably say. I thought it would be something like that. But turns out she has a better plan. If, <laughs> wow, like, I sometimes wonder, like, <laughs> like, how can a person have this much of um what do you call it like this much of like how can someone use so much intelligence on doing bad stuff you know like she she's like a mastermind like i don't know how else to explain her like she's strong she's she's very intelligent like <laughs> like I never would have thought that she had this type of, pla of a plan like I was really impressed by that the whole plan that she made so basically what her her plan is <laughs> like I, I, I'm, I'm laughing because I love the way that she if she she even come like how does someone even come up with this so basically what she wants she did was she was like you know what we don't know if we'll be able to um, defeat the avatar or not so what I actually need is a scapegoat so I'll go to Zuko and tell him that you help me and dad will give you back your honor. We'll defeat the Aftar. If we see he's dead, then that's good. 
if he somehow runs away or something happens and we are un like, you know, unsure of whether he's alive or not, what I'll do is I'll go back you know, and tell my dad that everything that happened was something that Zuko did and I helped. So that means the credit that they'll get, Zuko will get most of the credit, Ozai will be happy, Ozai will bring, like, give his honor back and a little bit of credit Azula will get. Azula is happy with that. Now, if by any chance it turns out that Aang is alive, Azula will be like, oh, Zuko, like, you, like, you know, like, the, after he's alive, you failed, like, you know, and Ozai will be furious. He'll again, like, I don't know what he'll do. He'll probably, like, just say that don't come back ever again. No more honor, nothing. I don't see you as my son anymore. Just get out. He'll, he'll probably say something like that. And Zuko will lose everything. And since Azula was like the partner of Zuko, she won't go through anything because she is, she's just like a like a side character in this whole situation. Nothing will happen to her. She will continue living in her place, and she she probably take this opportunity and say that Dad. Like you saw, like um, Zuko was unsuccessful, but have no worry, I am here. I'll go and defeat the Avatar, and she'll take that opportunity to like completely bring down Zuko. Zuko will be gone forever, and she'll take this opportunity to try and get a second chance of capturing or defeating the Avatar. And she thinks that yeah, she'll probably be successful the next time, and then she'll get all the credit. That's basically her plan. She just she just wants a scapegoat for the time being. If like if something goes wrong, she'll just put everything on Zuko. My god, like how can someone like how can someone even think of a plan like this? But what type of an evil mind, evil brain does someone need to think of a plan like this? Like how even? My god. <laughs> Damn, Azula, like, she's like the, she's like one of the most dangerous characters in this whole show, what the hell? Oh, wow, the brain games that she plays, damn, I'm really impressed, I have to say, like, as a villain, Azula is top notch. <laughs> like, like, we, we, like, in season one, who was the villain? Zhao, like, who's Zhao, what? Like, Zhao is like, like, Zhao was not even close to Azula. Like, in a way that was kind of helpful because we were easily able to bring him down. But damn, Azula, bringing down Azula is, is a pretty big deal. Like, I don't know how they're going to do this. Like, this, this, this girl has lots of plans going around in her head. And yeah, she, she, she can even use anyone, like even someone in his family to just they like, cannot you know, just uh, get her wishes wow god yeah i'm I was, i'm really impressed with azula in this episode <laughs> like she's evil but she is like what can i say like her being evil is the best part of this show i guess <laughs> wow okay um <laughs> okay that was that and then um now we can see here obviously Zuko is not happy at all even though like you know she got he got back his honor like he's empty now it's, it's like kind of like the whole thing of as I said before like you know it's like whole thing of getting revenge like it's like a goal that you have like you know as as they say like if you get your revenge and you know you accomplish in that you'll be empty like and you'll have nothing left the similar thing is happening to her, him now he had a goal of capturing the avatar he always like did that tried to do that and now that he got back his honor and everything even by kind of like you know going in a wrong direction like Iroh is captured I'm sure that's heavily like you know um burdening him like after everything he is just like in in front of his dad and after he heard that his dad said that oh good job like you did everything he's like he's like I got my honor back but at what cost and now what what should I do that's it like Iroh is in here no more she, like who who has he left alongside him no one uh, like 
a power hungry like you know evil sister and his dad who i don't know what like his overly prideful dad that's that's what is left like he he was so happy before this like you know like with iro just in a tea shop on his own but nope he had to get his honor back and i am sure this will probably i'm sure this the, after this he's going to change like you know like this is this is that whole thing of like you know unless and until you get something like like you know like humans have this kind of thing like for example like people have this kind of a wish that oh like when i get rich i'm just taking an, an example like you know like everyone has this wish that oh if i get rich if i get like you know so much wealth i'll do this i'll do that i'll do so many things and once they get that amount of like you know it, well, what kind of economic stability and like you know that amount of riches someday you know and he fulfills all his wishes he's like yeah so yeah i got all my wishes so now what and they kind of become like an empty husk in a way you know it obviously every time it does not happen like that but sometimes it kind of happens like that this is kind of the similar thing like you know like he got what he wanted all this time now he's realizing that is it even worth it you know like the things that i sacrificed for this position was that even worth sacrificing all the things that i had you know i i had everything and i sacrificed them to get something which i always wanted and now that i'm at that position he's realizing that yeah like this is not it and i'm sure like after this like you know zuko is going to change not before this like he needed this you know he really needed a uh, wake up call in a way you know he really needed to understand that what he wanted is it really what is this what he really wants or was it something else after getting that thing that he always wanted he'll realize now that yeah this was not it at all and after this i'm sure he's definitely going to change hopefully iro is okay by that time you know because i'm really concerned about iro like i don't we don't even un, like get any information about him in this episode like where is he even like they kind of mentioned him but that was just it they're calling him a traitor so i'm guessing he's probably in prison somewhere or something so yeah hopefully he he stays well up until then up until uh you know zuko kind of uh, realizes everything and um, realizes his mistakes hopefully he heals well up until that time <clears throat> that was the whole thing with um zuko and then there is um the like ang's portion where ang like you know like i can kind of understand ang again like you know he he's he's a, not a child but he is young and like you know like i at the beginning i was really not able to understand i was thinking like why is he saying something like this like uh like like everyone thinks he's dead so isn't that like better and at that time i thought that oh maybe he's kind of like you know prideful you know like he's like no like uh, everyone thinks i'm dead like i failed or something like that i thought it was something along that line that was like you know that was a little bit of uh, uh what can i say like it was a portion of his problems but there's another side to it the thing that was actually bothering him was his past you know because in his past a similar thing like this happened where everyone thought he was dead and it seemed as and everyone thought that he abandoned you know them and that's what scares him i think you know like he he expressed that very clearly in the end he says that just like previous time everyone thinks i'm dead and everyone will think that i abandoned them so i don't want that that's why i want to know like like you know like i want everyone to know that i am alive but you know like this is just pure emotion if he actually goes and explain like you know ex like tells everyone that yeah i'm alive and like you know something like this he does if he does something like this and it goes to you know uh ozai if ozai hears about it first of all zuko is going to get banished completely out of the whole kingdom i think this time and they're going to go up for ang again which will be a big problem you know so let them just you know like be under in the dark and just like you know like like swallow you know like the thing that you have there um well like you know the pent up emotions everything and just follow it 
and wait for the correct time and then strike and uh, yeah as i said like it's a bit difficult for ang because it kind of reminds him of his past where he's felt as if he abandoned everyone and he thinks he's doing the same you know because everyone will think that and uh, the avatar is dead like so everyone will be helpless like, you know so that's what's actually bothering him it, it's not his death that is bothering him it's ev what everyone will think everyone will lose hope that's what's bothering him everyone will think that yeah we like no one's there to help us again no one will be able to save us like we saw how what happened in the earth kingdom you know like we saw the earth uh, like fire army getting in and everyone was like scared and everything so yeah and after they hear that the avatar is dead then morale will go completely down like i don't know so yeah that was what was bothering ang all the time and we also saw a little bit of katara where katara was like it is another thing you know like just like how ang thinks that like you know like as ang said that i don't want you guys to put your lives on the line to um, correct the mistakes that i did like as as just like as he cares about you know katara and everyone the same thing like katara also worries about him not only katara saka Toph, everyone everyone worries about him and they're also like you know they they also love ang just like ang loves them as well so it's like a two two time thing you know like it goes both ways so just like how ang is kind of frustrated about this katara is also frustrated that she cannot help ang to do like, you know at this situation so <clears throat> Like, you know like that's like we also saw that like katara kind of also like bringing that up with his with her dad where she says that like i know what is happening i know what ang is going through i know what you went through but that doesn't help at all because i am also concerned about it you know like this goes both ways i know that this is your duty but still i'm still your child and yeah all that thing so yeah like this episode was kind of like the what can i say uh you know taking bringing your emotions like you know at a uh what can i say yeah like it's kind of like bringing everything together like you know like understanding your emotions what is happening like everyone kind of got a little bit of a closure in their own way and uh, yeah and we also saw uh, roku as well you know and we also saw ua and it's kind of cool to see how you were like you know brought ang back to the shore and by helping him because you know like ua is like the moon like you know now and you know, like moon is related to the tides and that's how i guess like she helped ang and roku was also there Roku also said that this is actually my problem and i am actually sorry for like you know bringing all this problem on like you know on your shoulders yeah, and he's still a child, you know. So yeah, all that stuff. So yeah, everything's good now. They're back, like you know, like uh, to becoming a good team again, and everyone kind of got a closure in their own way. <clears throat> so yeah. <clears throat> so okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> all right. So that was uh, episode number one of book three after the last airbender so yeah let's start with the second episode this is episode number two so without further ado let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. <clears throat> okay. All right. 
Okay, I think in the previous episode, I forgot to actually take off my headphone because this uh, recap section, I, I, I've heard that it has like, I think one or two of the recap section, someone said that contains spoilers. So I forgot to do that in the previous episode. But yeah, like, uh, I'm going to do that now. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. The headband. All right. Oh, the headband. Ang's headband that he's going to wear, I guess. Yeah, Zuko's like not able to sleep. Is Iroh over here? Maybe, I think so. <laughs> Just walks away. Whoa, what the? What is this? Oh! Cloud camo. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, enemy birds. What the? Saka? What's the matter? Is he like trying to find some traps or something? <laughs> hmm. True. Yeah, like, um, yeah. <laughs> Ugh, nasty. Oh, Momo's quite happy. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is with the clothes? <laughs> yes. And he's sleeping. Oh my god. Um, the okay, there you go. No, no, don't, no need to like. <laughs> okay, that's oh. Quite nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just keep it with you, I guess. Or maybe that will also be a little. Oh, you can like, uh, you can put it and then like cover it with something. <coughs> Kuzan. Oh, the guy, he said that he had a friend with the, you remember? Someone in the Fire Kingdom? <laughs> the man. Garbage? Why, why, some, why not some normal letters? Yo, that guy looks like Iro. Um. Ow. Oh. School uniform. Oh, that's a. Back to school, Lang. 
Oh, maybe he can learn five bending here. That'll be good. You know? Yeah, he can learn five bending here. <laughs> oh no. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, reverse. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> um. Oh, who's wait? He took his. <laughs> Aang is going to school. <laughs> it's kind of nice, you know. Like he never had this childhood. You can say. Um. Is that girl, Anji? Oh great! <laughs> True. Slowly. Um. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bye bye. Hide and explode? What? What's that? <laughs> Hide and explode? Wow, that's a. Ah. Huh? Whoa! What? <laughs> No, that's a like a spy. Like you, know, you can like keep an eye out on everyone. That's good. Oh boy. I'm the prince. Yes. Move. Oh. <laughs> boy. Yeah, I'm sure Iru is here. <sighs> oh my god, look at him. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Secret River. Oh. <laughs> Wow, he's so happy, like, like, I like it, like, you know, like, he, he's, he's, like, getting his, like, childhood in a way. What? No! Oh, God. Ah. Uh, Zuko. Uh, just like uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh! You'll have to wait for ex extra class. Oh no. Oh boy. Damn, they have like history lessons. Oh no, don't, Ang. Ang. Oh my god, don't, Ang. Yeah. Oh. Oh! It's kind of impressive. <laughs> oh. Damn. Wow. <laughs> March. Okay. It's better than nothing, I guess. Oh my god, everyone's talking about him. It's getting more popular. He's <laughs> like one of the popular kids. Mm. No! Oh! oh, great. Yes. Oh! There you go, movement. Hmm. <laughs> this is making a fool out of him. <laughs> oh! No, don't use your... Okay, there you go. Mm. Oh no, parents. Oh no. Will he like bring Katara and Saka or something? Yeah, I think Katara and Saka will have to come. <laughs> Let's see. There you go! <laughs> when fire sapphire sapphire fire <laughs> Dark people. Oh no. What? <laughs> Damn, Saka's really w into it, you know? <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is happening? What's happening to Zuko? Zuko's like becoming like a... Oh boy. Girl, my god, what? <laughs> yeah, he's just, she's just using you, you know?
I don't think that will help here in this situation, you know. No, that's not the point here. The <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh no, wait, who? Yeah. <sighs> Appa say, like, ah, oh, not again. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um Yes. <laughs> It'll be a secret, you know? Okay. Oh. Camelephant. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Come on, just you need to figure it out on your own. God damn it. It feels so bad to actually see Iro like this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Um Okay, hopefully the teachers don't come. Whoa, look at them! <laughs> look at them! <laughs> wow, this guy! <laughs> he just found his... <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Damn, she said she couldn't dance. Like she's like dancing <laughs> so well. Oh. Wow, they're completely in sync. 
Wow, this is amazing. Wow, that was great. Oh, fantastic. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh no, run! People! Uh, they're here! Ah! <laughs> run! <laughs> oh boy. Ang, run! Nope. <laughs> So many of <laughs> oh <laughs> Whoa, what's happening here? Everyone has a headband. <laughs> this is some kind of a horror show. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, wow. That was nice while it lasted, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Play me <-o. laughs> Oh my god. Wow, that was really great. Oh, what's Suzuko doing now? What the? Wait, who is this? Whoa! Like a third eye. It's like... Like Shiva has that... Uh, like, you know, the, the eye and the, the three... Just a sec. I don't know what it's called, but... Okay, that's the end. Just a sec. Let me just check... Um... Yeah, like... You know, there's like the third eye. And then there's like this three lines that you know, Shiva always has that. Um, I'm not sure if. Um, okay, it's called Tripundra. I also didn't know this. I just know that it, like Shiva has that, but I didn't know the name. It's called Tripundra. Uh, it's a form of body art with origins in South India. It consists of three horizontal lines on the forehead, usually with a dot made from sacred ash, and has spiritual meaning in Shiva tradition within hinduism there you go it's called tripundra three means three and no tripundra it means three marks yeah okay damn he looks cool like by the end i, I wonder who he is we'll probably see in the next episode okay so <clears throat> this episode there was a very what can i say light-hearted uh, like you know episode as, as, at least in angst section like Zuko's section was pretty um, uh, sad and you know like uh, what can I say? It was very excuse me emotionally charged. Now okay, let's first let's talk about Ang. Now uh, in the previous episode we saw Ang kind of came to a conclusion, you know, and they are in the Fire Nation. They got some Fire Nation um, dress and <laughs> like funny, uh, like funnily, uh, Aang's dress was like a school uniform. That's why he can go to school now. And it was good, you know, like in a way because he learned a few things about the Fire Nation, I guess. And as they say, like, you know, children are not at any fault. Like the children who are learning everything from these people, 
it's, it's just that what the fire nation is teaching them they're learning that so like you know even even that guy the 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 guy the i can't remember his name uh the one who like whose girlfriend was that girl even he like you know he's also like you know being taught by these fire nation like you know like these teachers and everyone like the way they bring up the students that's how they will be in the future so that's why you know like the thing that ang did as Toph said in the end that you did good you know like you actually made them free and they're, they're always like you know every in everyone's heart there is that thing so he just needed to kind of you know fan the flames and now that the flames are burning they themselves will <clears throat> probably like you know try to think outside the box from now on and they'll try to make decisions on their own like thinking about it and making judgment on their own whether anything something is good or something is bad so that's what they're going to do and <clears throat> like it's good you know because we saw one of the kids he was like dancing in such a <laughs> like such an amazing way like probably he'll become a dancer or something in the future which would probably never have happened he would have probably not gotten like you know even know like he had a talent like this if and did not come and actually told them to be free you know so yeah like as she's as he said like you know dance is a um, symbol of freedom and <clears throat> everyone is free so no one should like you know tell you what to do at your own free time you're you are free to do whatever you want to obviously like you know there are something that you should not do but like you know like things like this like you know dancing or any other thing that you want to do small little hobbies you know like you are your own like you know uh you you do your own thing which you like to do so yeah okay so here we see like ang getting into school and it's nice to see him actually having fun you know as we see that he he just like you know he was just enjoying himself in in class like you know with all this students of his own like you know age and like he he had this thing in like obviously like in the air temple you know he <clears throat> he spent time like this with other students and i'm guessing that this is kind of reminding him of that you know like playing with everyone and like you know hanging around having fun talking and it's kind of like you know reminding him of that and <clears throat> he was just you know like having fun and he also <clears throat> like you know expressed his own uh like you know the way he thinks in front of everyone and make at least one of the class you know he made them free from the inside and unlike you know all these fire nation teachers who were like oh this is wrong this is what something you shouldn't do you should not dance this that blah 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 so you know like <clears throat> like that's, that's, that's actually good and uh, ang himself had a little bit of uh like you know was able to kind of go back to his childhood and live you know like the fun filled like you know school life <clears throat> and at the same time he helped the students as well and not only the students that the guards as well as we saw you know like they were also kind of dancing <laughs> it's kind of funny to see only the old man the old teacher was like all angry and everything <laughs> oh boy okay so yeah, that was that and it was like it was really funny when like you know we saw like it, it was this episode was very light-hearted and it's very funny when we like especially that scene where katana and saka goes <laughs> as their like you know his parents and saka saka was really into it saka's like okay I'll, I'll i'll look at it i'll go back and i'll set my son straight like <laughs> and wow that was that was really funny and uh, <laughs> yeah i i love that i really love that and then like you know in the ending we saw them like dance and the dance like you know it was done so well the animations and everything the music and all like you know like and we saw katara and ang dance and all the other students also dancing and uh, yeah and then uh, like you know in the end they kind of helped ang to get away i think the only that kid like you know in the end who saw like you know the <laughs> like you know the them earth bending in the end when they run away you know he he's the only one who kind of got surprised that he's like what the hell this guy these people can earth went <laughs> and uh, yeah <clears throat> that was that that was um the whole thing with <clears throat> that, that was ang's section now zuko's section like it's kind of like you know interesting like 
The two parts of this episode were so opposite to each other. Zuko's like uh, now like you know like like so concerned and confused about everything and he's kind of becoming a completely different type of a character. He's kind of becoming evil in a way. Uh, especially because like you know of this whole situation and not getting uh idol's help <clears throat> he's confused he doesn't like all like all this time like you know whenever he came like, you know uh was at a problem he fell into trouble he always went to iroh and asked him for his help and this time iroh is not telling him anything and i think that's actually mm, what can i say like better at least in this uh situation because <clears throat> Zuko, Zuko needs to learn everything on his own now. He needs to realize this on his own because all this time, Iroh tried to tell him and he did not understand at all. So I'm sure the actual, like, you know, the thing that he can actually understand everything is by Iroh keeping quiet. He needs to figure it out on his own. If, if he, like, you know, like what he was wanting at that moment was he wanted someone to actually tell him what to do. He, he doesn't know what to do. So if I was said something like, you know, like said something like gave him some advice or something, he would probably do that at that moment. But that won't like, you know, that won't end the problem that he's having. His problem is that he needs to realize everything on his own. It, if I tells him to do something or if anyone else like shows him the way, it will work out for the time being, but not for long. He'll again fall into the same problem. So it's, it's good that Iroh is actually not like, you know, telling him anything and he needs to learn himself and he needs to find and reach the truth himself and realize what he wants to do. And uh, yeah, like the, the main problem here is his pride. Like I can see that, you know, like the, that whole section of him when he went in front of the, like, you know, in the, in the prison, in, in, in front of Iroh's prison cell. And he was like, this is your fault, you know, like, why did you do this? Like, you were all like, you know, if, if we didn't help you, you would be like in the streets or something. He was saying stuff like that, you know, and he's he's trying to justify, you know, he's trying to justify his reasoning. Like his problem here, there's, there's a lot of things going on. First of all, he's prideful, so he cannot, he won't. He just is unable to go and say that I'm sorry, you know, he is unable to do that. So what he does at that moment, he tries to justify his own reasoning. He's going to Iroh and he's like, yeah, what I did was correct. Like, you know, what else should I do? You know, like you, you should have helped me. Then everything won't, no, nothing would have been a problem. Because he cannot apologize of his pride. He's just trying to justify the reasoning of the things that he did. Because still, like, you know, there's still a part of him that feels guilty and because he feels guilty it, he feels as if he needs to justify this because obviously he cannot apologize because he's too prideful so this whole scene kind of shows us that you know like there is still a part of him that feels guilty that he did this to Iroh and that's why he's going there kind of lashing out trying to justify his reasoning you know if if that part somehow dies, you know, that part that still cares for Iroh, if it goes away, he wouldn't do this, you know, he would just leave Iroh alone and he would do his own thing, you know, but there is still that part of him, that good part of him, which is why he, he's always like going there trying to ask Iroh for advice, just, just wants Iroh to talk to him because he feels guilty of that whole situation. And <clears throat> you know, that was this whole thing, the whole tantrum that he's throwing at that moment and like you know like for like you know to mask that sorrow to hide that sorrow that's like you know the sorrow that he has he he's trying to do all the other things he's just like you know with i think that her name was mai wasn't it you know he's kind of like you know like like we saw like you know what he was doing and all that thing he's trying to like you know as he said like i got everything that i want but you know there's still something missing and that's what he's trying to do with that like you know he's trying to mask that sorrow that sadness the guilt that he's feeling in his heart by doing all these other things that he always wanted to do and <sighs> yeah and he's kind of becoming a little what can i say mm, egot egotistical is that how you can explain this situation uh yeah a little bit cocky yeah cocky i think that's the way you can explain it he's getting a little bit cocky especially 
like you know the whole scene with azula where he's like what do you want like you know like i'm busy can't you see and like you know like mine goes away and he's not even seeing looking at azula <laughs> azula is like my god like the things that i have to <laughs> like you know like the things that i have to go through <laughs> boy and uh, yeah now he still has that whole thing of i want i need to catch the avatar if he's alive and he knows that he's alive uh, that's why in the end we see him actually hiring someone that guy i'm not sure who he is it's like a very buff dude he's very tall and he has the, the third obviously that's not a third eye that's like a painting you know but that's the painting that like you know like that's the thing that shiva always has in his head and yeah like i'm quite interested in seeing who that guy is as you know like the guy he looks cool like you know he's like, like the little beard he has like shaved head like the the sign what was it called the tripundra yeah so yeah that's it guys that was it fantastic start to the season i am loving it and i'm sure there's a lot of more things that are yet to come i'm so excited for the upcoming episode so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to after the last airbender episode number one and two so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys that's it so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of after the last airbender so until then goodbye and have a nice day